Hello to all the head besties in the land. Today is a super exciting day. Guess what? Uh, this is the Dyson Professional. This is their new, I don't know if I'm saying that right, Corel, Corelli, I don't know. This is their new cordless flat iron that I'm super excited about testing. I haven't opened this yet. My husband literally just went and got it for me as a gift because I he knew I've been wanting this when I first saw it. So he's the best. Thank you, Almar, my husband. Um, let's open this up. I'm super, super excited to open this with you guys. Okay, so you can see this is what the box looks like. This kind of shows, you know, a little bit of... Let, let me focus that. Okay, so you get to see what the side of the packaging looks like. There's that. And that. And that. Okay, so this is the professional tool. He told me that... The professional tool has a longer cord than the consumer version and that the only shade they have is the purple one. So that's the difference. We're going to open this up. Okay, so that's what you get inside the box. This is my first time seeing this. So <laughs> I am just as surprised as you guys. Uh, let's, let's open this little thing up. Let's see what is in here. All right, so the instructions are all here. You get to see. Oh God, this is a lot to take in. I like this bag. It looks really, really classy and high end and prestigious and uppity. So that's nice. Ooh, oh my God. Let's look at this together. Open that up. Oh, that's what that is. The flight tag thing. What's that? Huh, I don't understand, like, okay, how do I open this? Okay, so you see that? That little button, Let's push it up, and it unlocks. I think that's cool. So it's still black, but it's purple in the inside. So it still looks very, very sleek. Ooh, you guys, look at this. Look at that plate. I don't know if you can see it, but the plates have little ridges. Let me see if I, I could capture it. Can you guys see that? It has like little tiny ridges inside of them, so it helps grip your hair. It's very subtle. Can you guys see that? There's like little subtle ridges, just like right along the plate. Um, I'm just gonna apply pressure to it to see if it has floating plates. Uh, it seems like it's pretty even. I, it is a little bit heavier than a regular flat iron, but that I think it's because it's a, uh, it's a battery charger thing, so it's a little bit heavier than your traditional flat iron, but it's cool because there's no cord, and I think that's a good thing because sometimes the cord gets in the way. Um, you could turn it on here, and you could turn the temperature up and down. I don't know if the battery is already full or I have to charge it first because that would suck if I have to charge it first because I have to stop everything I'm doing here and then charge it before I continue filming. So we don't know. So I'll, I'll, I'll see in a second. Oh, there's a little bit of... What else is in here? It's still heavy. Okay, so there's that that we just looked at earlier. And there's more instructions here. Okay, so it says press on it for one second and then you could turn the temperature up. Um, so you could press it on, so you have to hold it for a second, then you could turn the temperature up or down. Okay, what else is in here? Okay, so let's open this together. All right, hold on, hold on. There's like a little cylinder thing. So there's this glass cylinder. I don't know what that is just yet, because this is all new to me. Okay. Oh, okay, so this looks like where you you charge the iron on this little <clears throat> thingy-majig. Ah! I'm a little too excited. I just want to use it now. Okay, so I guess you just put this in. I know, I should read. Oh, there we go. So you put that in, and I guess you charge it like that. So it sits on there just like so. Uh, but I guess you would close it first, so you would close it like this and sit on the charger. Oh my god, that's so cool. I was told that it's, the battery is good enough to charge um, 
the charge is good enough to use on one to two clients and then in between your clients just put it back on the charger which i think is cool because you're not just gonna you know you know not charge it in between you just put it back you know which i think that's really really cool and i guess the cord goes in here to plug into your outlet so let's open that <clears throat> all right so there's more stuff in this box oh, okay so that's it whatever this is here i'm just gonna throw that out because i just want to get started already okay so how do you open this I don't want to damage the box, just in case if I don't like it, I can return it. So I got to be careful here because I want to like it. <clears throat> All I know is I do, I do like the Dyson blow dryer, even though I've been using my other blow dryer that I bought with my own money, the Gamma. <clears throat> I didn't really like their little spinny air wrap that much. I mean, I don't use it anymore. I bought it and I used it a couple times and it wasn't something I felt like I would use again. Okay, but I do like the technology. I do think it's cool that Dyson always come out with something fun. So, okay, so there's this. See that? I don't know, we could focus, there you go. So it looks like that, which I assume is gonna go into this thing if it would focus, right? There, let me do, put my hand there because that's what you're supposed to do. Okay, and there you go. That's it. And then you plug it into your wall to charge. This is really nice. I just love how everything is so well packaged and really thought out. I mean, because after all, it is kind of expensive. <clears throat> let me call my husband in here because he needs to be in here because he's the one that purchased it for me as a gift. And he knows more about the pricing than I do. Almar! <clears throat> Come in here, please. We get, he's going to make a guest appearance while I drink my boba. Mm -mm. Oh my god, spill on me. Come on in. I'm wearing PJs. Come in. It's cute. Just come in. He's shy. I'm shy. Mm. Yes. He knows I'm obsessed with boba. This is a peach leafy boba. If you guys haven't had boba, obsessed is an understatement. You know what? You're I addicted to it. I'm addicted. It's actually staining my teeth. It's, it's making my teeth a little yellowy. But anyway, how much? Here, come in, Amar. How much was this? Um, it came up to four hundred thirty-seven plus tax. Four hundred thirty-seven. Mm -hmm. Plus tax. Yeah, that's oh. with the uh, one hundred dollar off. Wait, this the, the pro one. As a professional. As yeah. a professional, so you got a hundred dollars off. So a consumer one would be how much? Um, four hundred ninety nine. It plus four, tax, it would come up to five hundred plus five hundred forty. Four hundred and ninety nine dollars for the regular one, mm -hmm. and then three hundred and ninety nine for the pro one. Mm -hmm. If you're a licensed stylist, do they check your license when you get it? Yes. So you check your license, so then the, with tax is 439 for us with this. 437. And, and the, 437. So the only difference is that the cord is longer, and that's it. But the perform and you get a discount. And a discount. So, but the performance is the same, they say? Yeah. It's just the longer cord. Okay, do I need to charge this first before we... Because I just got out the box. Do I need to charge yes. it? You need to charge it first. Oh! Technology. Oh. Okay, hold on. Let me just see if there's battery in there. Hold on. Let's see if it would turn on. Oh, look. Yeah. There's... Well, there's factory charge. Oh, okay. So let me just try it because... Okay. Okay. Oh, look. There's 330 de degree temperature. And then there's an option for 365 degree temperature. And 410 degree temperature. So there's three options. That's cool. You know what? I don't really need high heat on my hair because I have a perm. So I'm just going to do low heat. I'm going to do 330 degree temperature. Can you guys see that? So there's three options there. I'm going to use it on low heat. This is so cool. Ooh, did you hear that? Oh, so that means it's ready when it does that ding ding. But look. So the battery is not all the way charged, it's low, so there's a factory charge on there. But before we get started, let me just plug this guy in. But that was really quick, it didn't take long before it heats up. But I have to say, it is a little bit heavy um, than your normal iron. Not that that's a big deal for me, because 
That's why I go to the gym. I work out. I work out! <laughs> so it's not gonna be a problem, but I'm just wondering if you're flat ironing all day, your wrist, your carpal tunnel, that's the only thing I'm concerned about. I'm just gonna go ahead and plug this in. So I've been doing this little man bun moment. Let's just unleash the hair. Okay, so this is how long my hair is. Look how long this is. I don't know what's happening, but before we get started on my hair, I'm gonna put some products on it to protect my hair. I'm gonna grab my hair lube. If you guys haven't used it yet, go get it. It's in stores now. It's the Guy Tang My Dandy Hair Lube. This just, this is amazing. I need a little lubrication on my ends because my hair has a perm on it. So I just like to lube up those ends so there's no friction. Uh, I haven't washed it in two days because ever since I have long hair, I find that I don't need to wash it that much because I don't use any clay or putty in my hair. And I probably should brush my hair more often because I never really brush it. So I'm just gonna brush it just like so. Oh my God, <sighs> the struggle's real. You know, the last perm I got on it, it's been a while. So most of it's a little straight now. All right, here we go. All oh, right, I need to put um, the Guy Tang My Defender Spray. This is Guy Tang My Dandy. I developed this to protect your hair from heat up to 450 degrees. It's amazing. It gives a soft hold um, and it doesn't have like that crunchy feel. It has a, like a pillowy touch. I feel like it's very important to have heat protection because it's like having a condom, you know, or a seatbelt to your car. You always gotta protect yourself because you don't want some something crazy with all the situations that's been happening now. We're, we're always like taking proper precaution to wear protection, wear gloves. We're in a situation now where, you know, God, we can never be too safe. You know what I'm talking about? So um, wear protection, my defender spray, try it. Okay, so I got that going. Now, let me just go ahead and brush my hair one more time because I never brush it. All right, just to make sure we distribute the product evenly. I love my Defender. All right, so let's use the flat iron. <clears throat> so I like to kind of start on this side because I like to part my hair this way. So we're going to start on this side. I'm so glad there's a little bit of battery in there. Why does it keep beeping? Please tell me. Okay, it's still okay. All right, it's still okay. The battery's just low. It's telling me I need to charge it. But let's try getting what we can. So normally, okay, let's just go this way. I'm just gonna look in the mirror here and just do a turn and then a swipe down. Ooh, okay. I don't really like my hair too curly, but I like a little turn there, that's nice. That is really nice. Let me try it one more time. And that's on the lowest heat setting and I still get like a nice little bend -a -ma jig here. I like it so far. This is my first impression of it. I have to say it is a little bit heavier than your normal iron because of the battery pack that's right here. So this whole center area does put a little weight on the tool, but hey, if it's cordless, I think that's kind of cool. So let me try one more turn here. Okay, and I'm just gonna stretch it forward. Oh, I like this. Huh. I like that it gives you a grip with the little ridges that's in the inside. You can see the little ridges on the plates. I like the grip and I also like that it, it has glide to it, which is nice. Because there's some flat iron, I feel like it snags your hair. But let's proceed forward and let's see what happens. Okay, hold on. Okay, what I also like to do with my flat iron is to give my hair texture. So I'll go up and down and then up. Just to give it like a little benda, like a little bendy texture there. I like that. All right, this is my first impression of it so far. I think it'll be interesting to see what happens if I use this on a client's full head. Like let's say I have long hair. Like will my arm get tired from the weight? So let's do this little beachy look again. So let's go up, down, and back up. Look at that, ooh! This is my favorite type of texture. Do you see that? Because it doesn't look like a curl. It looks like like beachy and messy and disheveled. So I like to kind of alternate my waves um, so it looks a little bit more tousled. So let's try this again. I'm just like looking into the mirror right here. So excuse me if I'm not looking into the lens. 
I'm just gonna look right into the viewfinder and the mirror. Okay, so I'm gonna do one where I twist and curl and pull and swipe. You know, like the beachy look that we're seeing everyone loving to do. So, and this is on low heat. Uh, I like it. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. Um, I'm probably gonna finger my hair after. I'm glad I put a little heat protection in it with my defender. Okay. I think we should do like a quick story time moment. I wanna share this story with you guys just because I feel like you guys can relate to it. But first, I'm just gonna do a different type of curl. So I wanna do like a body curl where I go this way and then I turn and swipe and then pull. Let's see how that turns. Huh. Well, that's cool. But let me just kind of smooth it just a little bit so it doesn't, oh, okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that looks good. You see that? There's like so many ways you can curl hair. From the back, from the front, the squiggles. <laughs> There's so many ways. I love it so far. Um, I don't have problem with the weight just because I work out quite a bit, so it doesn't bother me. Um, the battery is already low. Look at that. Oh my God, it's dying. Okay, so that means I have to charge it. I don't know how long it's gonna take to charge the battery completely. So I'm probably gonna have to stop the camera in between and see how long this lasts. Okay, let me do one more squiggle uh, beachy wave here. Look at that. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Oh no, it's gonna die. See that? That's pretty quick, um, but of course, I just opened the box so I can't judge it. I'm probably gonna put in a charger for 30 minutes and come back just so I can finish the whole back of my head. But so far, so good. Okay, let me turn, swipe, and stretch. I like that, I like to have a little kick on my ends, like that. Ooh, look at that, do you guys see the volume? I like this, and I have not run my fingers through it yet, but I can see where it's going. And I don't have a problem with it first. I like, I don't, I have to admit, I hate cords. I hate how they get in the way when you're blow drying or curling or flat ironing. So hopefully there'll be a, a Dyson will come out with a curling iron like this, that with all the sizes of barrels, that'll be really cool. Dyson, do you hear me? That would be a good idea. It may be a cordless blow dryer as well. Oh, oh. Okay, I pulled that one too tight, so I'm just gonna loosen it just a titty bit. But look, oh wow. I really, really like it so far from my first impression. And granted, I have not washed my hair, so this is really good. I'm just gonna do another squiggle wave here. I'm gonna try to do the back myself and see what happens. That's the hardest part. So we're gonna do another messy wave and go up like this and down and then back up and pull just to get like a little bit of that squiggle majig see that i love that oh yeah it always looks more disheveled when you do that and right here i'm just gonna turn that in just in case there you go all right so i'm gonna put this back on the charger because obviously i just pulled this out the box so this is a good to know when you first get it, charge it immediately. I'll be right back. Actually, I take that back. I'm back on. I just wanna put it on the charger for um, in front of you guys. Oh, just so, just so you can see what it looks like as it charges. Hold on a second. All right, let's see. Okay. Let's see what happens. Does it turn off by itself? Oh, look. Okay, so when you put it back on the charger, do you guys see that, the light? It lights up, it flicker. It's got a little dot there. That means it's charging. That's cool. You can see the battery's trying to charge. See that? You see the white thing right there? That means it's charging. I'm gonna give it about 30 minutes and see how far it charges in 30 minutes and we're gonna be right back, okay? Don't move. So while the iron is charging, because it takes a minute, we're just gonna have a little you know, conversation, because I feel like I love spending time talking to you guys, because after my last couple of videos, where I feel like we're having a one-on-one -on -one conversation, I feel like it's kind of cool. <laughs> my husband's the sweetest person in the world, and he like ordered me all these things that he knows I love, like brownie brittle. 
And we get it on Amazon because I always like, he knows how much I am obsessed with brownies and stuff like that. And they have like this like limited edition like gingerbread flavor brownie brittle. So we got a snack on this together. I start ordering a lot of my food like online now. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> but this looks so good. Um, mm. Oh my god. Oh, sorry. This is so good. Oh my god. Mm. Please do you guys, you guys gotta do yourself a favor. If you have not tried boba before, please do so. Mm. How many of you guys are obsessed with like Dyson products? I always get excited when they come out something new. Like I literally own everything they have. I own like the vacuum. I own the blow dryer, the pro and the consumer version. I own their air wrap. That was kind of expensive, like everything else they have. But it was fun, but I never ever used the air wrap. But I have it just in case I ever want to use it. Oh, this is another holiday edition. This is a chocolate chip. This one has like the little icing drizzle. This is so good. You guys, do yourself a favor and order these. If you love brownies, you could crush this on your ice cream. Oh, it's so, so good. Look, I literally buy every flavor they have. Mmm. Oh my god, this is a new one. This is um, apple, caramel apple. Let's try this one together. It says limited edition, so we gotta try it. Oh my god, we gotta try this together. I'm obsessed with these. <laughs> Let me see what this one tastes like. That's okay. Um, I think I like the gingerbread one. Wow, that one really surprised me. <clears throat> okay. This is so good. Oh, there's another one. God, my husband always surprised me with all these gifts. Okay, he's the best husband ever. Do you guys have like, how many of you guys are married out there? Are your husband this sweet? I mean, isn't he the best? He like always gets me everything. I feel bad because I don't do enough for him. This one's a salted caramel with chocolate drizzle. This one's also a holiday edition. I love like, I love new things. I love when like festive edition things come out. I have to buy everything. Like when you go to the mall during like the winter time, Bath and Body Works have the holiday edition, like hand sanitizers. I buy everything, the candles, the soap. Anytime new products come out, I get super, super excited. So like I'm all about it. I buy everything. That's why when Dyson launched this new product, I was on it. I said, I gotta have it. I gotta have it. I want to have it, but it's too expensive. I don't know if I want to spend my money on it. The struggle is real. But the husband surprised me. <laughs> I love him. So you guys can see like my textured waves already. That looks really cool. Cause I don't really like my hair too, too curly cause it looks too done. And I don't like my hair flat either. I don't know if I have patience to wait for this iron to um, heat up all the way. Cause I only have a couple pieces in the back. But let's just see like this last five minutes I've charged it on to see how much battery life went up. Okay, I just got it off. Let's see. Let's turn it. Let's turn her back on. Let's see. Let's be surprised. Come on. Charge all the way. Let's see what it says. What does it say? What does that mean? Okay. Okay, I turn up the temperature. Okay, so now we have to wait for it to heat up again. But hopefully the battery charged up somewhat. Oh, I like that sound. Okay, so it went up a little bit. Wow, it does charge pretty fast. Okay, so I'm gonna start curling back here. Let me tell you guys what, I wanna tell you this story about when I was working in the salon at Salon Republic. You know, so Salon Republic is a salon studio um, building where there's like 80 hairstylists renting out studio suites. I was in one of them. I was in like a suite 17. And I guess I had this one hairstylist that followed me on Instagram for a minute. And she always like leaves hate comments. I don't know who she is. But I guess one day I posted up a picture that I did. It was like, a, I think this was three and a half years ago, I posted up like a nude hair color. It's like naked hair color. And I was developing my identity at that time. So I was developing new colors and blah, blah, blah. She came into my room. She, I mean, she knocked on my door. I 
opened the door, I said, can I help you? I had no idea who she is. I was with my client and she said to me, you stole my, my thing. I said, what are you talking about? Stole? And then she pulled up my Instagram in front of me and showed it to me, to my face and said like, this is my thing. Nude hair color is my thing. And I go, what? What are you talking about? I was so confused. And she wanted me to admit that I took something from her. I don't even know who she is. She thinks I stalk her. She thinks I follow her or something like that. But I didn't know who she was. So I started asking around like, why is this girl accusing me of something? And then, you know, she blocked me. And then, cause when I found who she was, I was like, well, let me see. And they showed me her page and I go, let me see if I could find her on my Instagram. I was like, I can't find her. So it turns out that she blocked me to begin with. And what I think is really interesting is that a lot of us as hair professionals, we're always like, we get prideful. We start accusing people of taking a technique or a look that we came up with or something. But what we don't realize is, you know, there's so many people in this world. There's thousands of people. Somebody's came up with the idea of nude or naked hair color or whatever, you know. Nobody invents something. It's not something, you know. And I was like, I don't even know who she was. So the accusation was so strange. But I couldn't be mad at her because I realized something. She's just insecure. And she wants something to make her feel credible or valuable. And that's the one thing she had that made her felt good. So... And she felt like I was the cause of her, you know, not feeling good because she thought she came up with something first or something. So I started to feel sorry for her. And you know me, those of you guys that follow me for a long time, you guys know that like, I have a tendency of forgiving people, even though they're mean to me, even though I get treated wrong. And, and the thing is this, you know, unless you, like let's say you wrote a song and someone literally took your song, sung it, and released it as theirs. That's called like, you know, plagiarism. That's stealing and taking something. But when it's something simple like a hair coloring trend, like rose gold or silver. Yes, I was the first to come up with rose gold demi permanent hair color. But it would be crazy of me to get mad if now that every brand has a rose gold. Every brand has a rose gold, right? That's like me getting mad that people are following the trend or something. No, I should be happy. I'm happy that I get to pioneer a look that everyone is doing and I'm so happy, you know, that it's now as part of, you know, rose gold is a staple color. Now people are going to salons asking for rose gold. So that's my, my point. Like I wanna be, I, I should be happy that that's happening. So if you guys have, have you guys ever? Okay, I know someone of you guys. Let me know in the comments below, have you ever had anyone accuse you of copying or taking something that's theirs or whatever? Tell me below, leave your comments, I wanna know. Because at the end, you guys, we can't be insecure because to me as educators, what I, as an educator, I think what's really important is that we share. Share our knowledge. Educate others on techniques and trends. I mean, we don't own any technique. Like for example, I have a technique that I call diamonds in the skies for my balayage. My whole purpose of, of sharing and teaching is so people can take it and use it as theirs. You know, like why would I get like all defensive over something like that? It's part of life, you know? So anyway, as you guys can see here, I'm now kind of curling it towards my face. So hopefully I don't look like, you know, let me speak to your manager. You know, what they call it? A Karen or something like that. <laughs> I don't know what they call it that. We're calling, like, this is the Karen look when it's like a bump it look, you know? I think that the situation with a lot of us um, as professionals, as hairstylists, that a lot of us get, well, as humans, I think in general, we, we all have insecurities. We all want to feel valuable. We all want to feel special. We all want to feel important as people. And then when someone comes along and make you feel less special because they took the one thing you feel like you had, that means you have to find something within yourself to make yourself feel good. You have to take time out and hating someone is not the answer, you know, because that just shows that, you know, you know, shows your insecurity. What she could have done was come to my room and say, hey, I noticed that you did a look that's very similar to something I do. You know, can we, we should collaborate and do something fun together. That's the answer. Like she could have just like, hey, let's collaborate. And we could have been best friends because I'm sorry that she felt insecure and thought that I took something from her, but I didn't. 
maybe it was coincidence that she did a look that was similar to mine. So that's why I'm saying like, don't ever get mad and feel insecure about something and, and act on it. And then at the end, you, we, you know, you can look like crazy or something, you know? I think that what I do, I feel like it's important is that we take a deep breath, take a step back, whenever we feel insecure, talk to ourselves, you know, and realize that some, a lot of these things can be coincidence. But she didn't, and she didn't stop there. She came onto my YouTube channel and leave hate comments. I'm like, oh my God. And then because this was like two years ago, I think that there was this, there's a trend that happened that was called solar color changing hair. So you can apply like um, a paint, like car paint that changes color according to like the sun and the temperature of, you know, the sun, it changes colors in the sun. Like literally your hair could be pink and you go in the sun, it turns blue or yellow or something like that. It's like color changing hair. So I did it on one, you know, on the wig and I went out in the sun, the color changes. She left a comment saying, you stole my, my thing. I, I started the color changing hair. And I go, what? Who are you? Why are you bothering me? And she got all her friends to leave like hate comments on my videos and stuff like that. And that's when it got out of hand. I felt like, you know, this is very immature. And I was like, God, like, why don't she just be nice? And we could have just collaborated, you know? And I feel like this is so strange, but I realized that we can't, a part of me go like, should I have, you know, knocked on our door and say, hey, you know, sorry to make you feel that way. But, but I feel like, why do I always have to say sorry? Why do I always have to apologize for something I didn't do? Why do I always get accused of something? And I, I, and I think that, you know, we all can relate to that. I think we've all been through that where we're in a situation where someone's always blaming us and we're always like, what did I do? You know, and I'm not, I just don't understand. I really don't. I mean, what would you guys do in that situation, you know? First of all, I was like saying, I've done so many videos on YouTube, giving out techniques for free, and that's something I do. I was like, woman, if you feel so insecure about this, put out a video. Talk about how it's quote unquote your thing, you know? So I don't know. I think that we all should just, you know, really be a little bit more, um, less like we, we need to stop accusing people and, and feel secure about ourselves, you know? And I think that people can tell when you're confident. And I think that you can be insecure because we all have insecurities, but it's about being secure with your insecurities. It's about being confident with your insecurities. Like for example, I, I don't like my back scar that I have right here from removing a mole from like 10 years ago. I'm insecure about it. So I hate taking off my shirt because I hate this scar, but I'm secure with my insecurities. So I don't care. I'm like, hi everyone, look at my insecurity. There's my scar. You know, I hate taking off my shirt. Don't look at it, but there it is, you know? That's what I mean by being secure with your insecurities. It's okay. It's okay, like, oh, look at this pimple I have up here. See this pimple I'm insecure about. Please don't look at it, but it's there, but who cares? That's what I mean, you know what I'm saying? We have to be more like, you know, acknowledge that we're not perfect. It, what's happening? It's beeping. Oh, it's telling me that the battery is gonna die. Okay, I gotta finish up this section really, really quick. As you can see, my hair is looking really good. Like, I'm talking so damn much. Oh, okay, so now to recharge it again because I am too slow. I'm sorry, I'm over talking. Too many stories. Okay, so let me just put this back on the charger and we'll be right back. Hey, you guys, this is insane. Like, I'm on the Dyson website right now reading because I want to know more about the technology of the iron, like, you know, the plates and everything. Like, what's so special about it? So, the iron's plate his, um, his manganese copper alloy plates is machined to gather the width of the hair and it flexes to enhance styling with less heat. This is insane, guys. Um, I think the only way to really show you guys is to really just pick up the iron to show you guys how crazy this is. I've never seen a flat iron like this. And this is one of the things that I hate about a lot of irons is that the plates are too 
straight and stiff and it starts snagging because most of the irons have too much pressure here when you close the plates and, and it's like it's really tight here and this is where it snags and then the ends is like you're not getting enough pressure right but this is different and this is something that I don't know how to describe it, but I just now witnessed this and saw it for myself that I want to see you while it's charging. Okay, see, oh look, you see that? The plates are bendable, which is insane. So if you apply pressure like down the center, look at that, it literally bends. You see that? Mm, so cool. Bending like right down the center. Let me try that again. See that? Can you guys see that? It's bending right in the center, so you have hair here. It'll, mm. It's literally molding mm -hmm. and conforming to the hair. So if you have hair in the ends, look. That's insane. So maybe it gathers it, in the it gathers it, right? So that's why you have like these little ridges because it mm. feels the hair. So as you close it, it literally gathers the hair. Wow. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> okay. Okay. So far, I'm going to give this. A nine and a half. Nine and a half. Out of, out of ten, Almar. You know why? Why? I don't like the weight. It's heavy, okay. but it's worth it. It's feel it. Isn't that okay. he that's heavy, that's right? Heavy. Yeah. So for the weight of it, I think that's why I took half a point off, just half, because I can handle the weight, but the plates and the technology is something I am. <laughs> I know I'm gonna be obsessed with. Okay. <laughs> How about the price point? I don't know, Almar. It's kind of five hundred dollars. Uh, Four hundred for. Uh, you. What do you think, Almar? Uh, do you think it's worth it? I mean, for a flat iron. For a flat iron. Uh, I don't know. I, I think mean, it. If I am a consumer and. Well, I want you to curl my hair with it. How about that? I'll turn it on okay. again, and you're gonna curl my hair with. It. Oh my god, it charges so quick. Oh my god. Okay, you guys, I literally just put it on there for like 10 minutes. <laughs> what? It starts already? Yeah, okay, that charged pretty quick, so I, I'm just gonna have to say nine and three quarter points. It just went up an extra. You okay. Know, so it's almost 10. It's almost 10%. And it and it heats up that quick. Uh, uh, I mean, look. But well, your, your battery is just halfway through. I know, but that's quick. Okay, let's see. Okay, 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 okay. Last. I want you to curl this piece. Do you even know how? Okay, can a consumer <laughs> style the hair? Because he's a consumer. I'm a professional. I want to see right. if he... Okay, here. Okay. Let's see. Don't burn my hair. Here, I'm going to use extra protection. We're going <laughs> to... Oh, I'm being dramatic. So dram I'm so dramatic. <laughs> I'm not dramatic. <laughs> so dramatic. I'm not dramatic. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is our relationship, as you can see. I'm not being dramatic. Okay, like, no, I, no, I'm wearing protection. This is my defender. Okay, okay, it now. Smells so good. It does, right? Okay, yeah. now, now, curl this hair. Let's <laughs> see what happens. I'm more, okay. How do you want it bent? Inside? Uh, like that? Figure it out. Okay. Okay, you definitely no. You have to bend the iron. Oh, I don't think he knows oh. what. Okay, you definitely don't know what you're doing. Bend it like that. Bend, bend, bend that. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, you want it like that? You like it? There. Oh, you're ripping my hair. Okay, he yeah. definitely doesn't know what he's doing. Give me back the irons. Leave it. To, I'm fired. You're fired. Uh, oh, leave it to the God. professional. Okay. No, but what I think we need to do with our community is really support each other because mm -hmm. it kind of goes back to what I told you guys earlier. We gotta be more confident in ourselves because when we are insecure it's definitely not sexy and it's really really hard to be but i feel like we have to support one another it, it, it's like i know some people will say it's not our job to support other people it's not our job that's their problem we're all different people but you guys seriously i feel like we need to uplift each other and be more positive and and especially in a time right now when everyone's going crazy mm -hmm. with the corona, like like in the grocery stores. You know, you know what's crazy? You go. To, I went to the grocery store, guys, yesterday, 
and like literally cars were just like fighting to just like cut in front of you to park. They just cut in front of each other. And then when you go to the grocery stores, they're fighting over toilet paper and napkins and tissues and sanitizers. Like they're just mean to each other. And it shows you at a time of chaos, people aren't like civil. People are selfish and they're just thinking about themselves and not really helping each other. So what can we do as a community to really understand that we're not the only one? There's so many people, right? We have to think about others. And yes, we have to think about our own survival too, but what we don't realize is that when you uplift others, it uplifts you. When you're a good person, good will come back to you. And at a time of chaos like this, mm. you're starting to see so many people's true like mm. colors I mean, Almar, tell me how you feel as, as a nurse. I mean, we're all part of this community. So as you said, you know, we have to support each other. Um, you will see it in time of crisis. Um, it just, it's either it will break you or it will bend you. Bend you meaning, you know, you will go with the flow and survive it. Or yeah. it breaks you and you'll get crazy. So. Um, it's, it's trying times. You know what it is? It's really interesting. I've had someone told me about like, oh, it's just, it's a survival of the fittest. You got to stay alive. You got to do what you got to do. Mm -hmm. But we're civil. Like we're living a civilization. Yeah. Like we, yeah. <laughs> like, it's like, what? It's there's like, still laws, you know? Mm, there's it, still laws. We will not be above the law because there's this crisis. Yeah. I don't know. I just wish that as a community, we could do that more. And that's why like... For me, I wanted to change that culture. I started like going, you know what, as hair besties, I wanted to create like a Facebook forum, a Facebook group, a community of hair besties where we do support each other, that we have a place where we feel we belong, that we do fit in, mm -hmm. and that you do fit in with yourself, and that you can be yourself and be confident and have a voice within the community, mm -hmm. and also have- be supportive. And be supportive, but also within the community, we could spread this out outside the community and make a difference for people and i know this is like kumbaya and people are like oh my god this no, is so annoying you, you really have to pay it forward you do yeah. oh my gosh right yeah. Yeah. okay so i am honestly amor i really like this iron thank you for getting it for me you're the best husband ever i don't know what that beeping is about but basically it's just it's just beeping just to beep beeping. Oh. i love it <laughs> <laughs> okay i feel stupid it keeps beeping because i accidentally turned it off so it wasn't even on half of the time. So I was like wondering why my hair wasn't curling anymore. I was like, wait, what's happening here? Okay, so I didn't realize I accidentally pushed the button, but I don't know how I accidentally pushed the button when it's in there. Definitely, it is a little bit pricey, but I say it's worth it for not having a cord because I hate cords. And I also like the bendable plates. I think that's the highlight of this tool is the bendable plates. Like I would just, I probably pay pay eight hundred dollars just for the. It's oh. either that or you can just charge it to. Oh. <gasps> da. Oh my God! I didn't know it has to. Almar, look at him. So you are the person that reads the instructions. I'm yes. like, I skip so, the instructions. Apparently, if you haven't used it for like five minutes, it will go on a sleep mode and it will cool down. And then after five minutes of being idle or sleeping mode, then it will turn off completely. So you have an option of cordless yeah. or not yeah. cordless, and then you have the charger. That's why for pro, it's longer. Okay, hold up, hold up. Can you just, you can still charge it like this, direct. You don't have to put um, it on yep. the charger. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is cool. Okay, fine, I'll give it a 10, okay? I'll make, well, no, 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 nine point. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. 9.98 point zero two points off because of the weight Dyson if you could find a way to make this not as heavy then I will love it but everything else I say go and also Amor thank you for the brownie brittles because he he knows what I like he's trying mm -hmm. to sabotage me but that's okay I'm gonna put all of my hair down so remember I like the squiggle waves so I get to see like my hair, like I like it messy. I'm not trying to get my hair flat, okay? I just want my hair to have texture. Um, 
you know, and still be smooth. You guys see that? Just have a little messy texture. I like this. Okay, so let me put a little hairspray in my hair. Let me grab. I'm gonna use my power hairspray because I like to have a little control just to make it fuller. Okay, and I actually like having a half up, half down man bun. I don't know if you guys have been following me on Instagram, but if you haven't followed me on Instagram, do yourself um, a favor and myself a favor. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram to see all of my hair work and everything like that. And I'm gonna use this Invisibobble Majig and I'm gonna do a half up, half down. So excuse me as I do this. I'm gonna look into the mirror here. I like to kind of just leave this little moment down, pull this back, because this is kind of like a thing I've been doing since I'm growing my hair out, and stretch it, because I like to have texture, because not everybody wants their hair to be like straight smooth. You know, I like, I like like bends and waves and still have the ends look kind of flickered like this, like that. I'm going for the samurai look that I'm doing. Okay, this is looking good. Do you guys like it? Because I've, I've seen some comments where some hair besties like, oh, grow your, don't grow your hair out, cut it short because it looks manlier. But I don't know if I want to have this manly look like I thought I used to want. I kind of just want to look like me and feel comfortable in my own skin and have hair that makes me feel good. Uh, I feel like I could use more volume. So I'm going to put uh, my thick body. This is my new uh, bulking texture spray. I just want it to feel a little bit thicker because I love having big, thick hair. The bigger, the better is what I say. I like everything big. Okay, what do you guys think? You guys like it? Okay, guys, stretch this man pony out so it can look a little bit messier. So I'm gonna have a high man pony and just like that. Okay, I'm gonna turn from side to side so you get to see my hair. Um, half up, half down pony, little messy texture. I got waves, like little subtle messy waves, flickered ends, slightly straight in the ends. I love it. Do you guys like it? <laughs> this is pretty awesome. I can't wait to use it on a client. Okay, so another thing I want to include, guys, that I feel like this is very important is that because this is travel friendly, Mm -hmm. uh, this little sleeve that comes with it, it's little home. I think this is very, very pretty and very soft and sandy and it's, smooth. It's I know. It's like velvet. I know, right? It's really nice. Dyson, they always impress me. And it has this thing attached to it, this little thing, and it has... It's like a flip-flop. I know, let me try to get it to focus real quick. So it has this thing that has the flight little icon there, so it indicates this is where you could put your little... Um, I don't know what this is called from the battery cartridge thing. Um, let me turn this off. So you detach it, I believe, by doing this. Um, so that way, like, it's safe for on flight. See that? Yeah. So I guess you kind of think it. you take that out, and that's what causes the. So it doesn't explode, right? Yeah. It causes or turn on by itself because there's really no protection for turning it. Right, on. because it could be dangerous. Yeah. Because if you bring something like this on a carry-on it could be considered dangerous because the battery can explode and everyone could be at risk so it's very dangerous to have it on flight with you so if you get you can accidentally turn it on because mm -hmm. it just you know right but well, i'm kind of confused because the light still glows a little bit even though i detached that oh see you can't let me you see can, can let, okay so i took this out let mm. me see if i can still turn it on what huh? i'm what what? What's that? Oh no, it says it's, on, it's a flight mode. Oh. Okay, so let me try that again. Hold on. Let me, so let me focus here. Focus. Oh, there's a plane. Check. Yeah, that means you go. can't turn it on. Oh, oh, that is so clever. I love this. This is really cool. Okay, so they let me. They thought about it. They really thought about it. Okay, so let me go ahead and reattach this okay. thing. Okay, we're going to reattach it. Okay, and see how easy that is to turn it back on. Okay. So we're gonna, okay, we're gonna turn it, come on, oh, okay. Oh, it turns on, see that? So now we push that to turn on the temperature, so now it's on. Okay, so we see, I have it on the lowest temperature setting. And, wow, you see how quickly it heats up? This iron is insane, it heats up so quick. That is really, really cool. Turn it on, or? 
You just no, I turn oh. it on for real. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. I have like gaseous problem, but my husband oh my deals God. with it. He deals with it. I'm just gonna curl Every one. Day. Every day, I'm just gonna curl one more strand here. I'm gonna flip it, turn it, and kind of let it go. Almar, do you like my hair long? Uh, be honest with me, or you don't really care. It just gets into my face whenever we're sleeping. <laughs> so when we're cuddling, my hair gets into his face all the time. He tries to kiss me from the back, but then my hair is in his mouth. It's like I have to like Oh, part. and another thing, my hair is all over the shower floor. My hair is all over the bathroom, you know, from shedding, I guess. Mm -hmm. So from shedding. <laughs> from shedding, I know. <laughs> you the wrong choice of word. What's the right word again? Um, from uh, what's oh I can't even speak right now. You know what I mean. Losing hair. Yeah. But anyway, you guys, this hair I am loving. Okay, so um thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell to get all the I can't speak. Hit the bell, the bell, to get all the notification to all of my video releases that I come out with weekly. Okay, you gotta make sure you subscribe, leave comments below, let me know if you like this video, and thank you, Almar. Almar is rarely in my videos, so this is a privilege. <laughs> He's shy, he hates to be on camera. So this is a privilege yeah. to have Almar, my husband, on camera. So I'm thank always you. behind the camera. You guys don't realize what he does for a living. He's a cancer research nurse. A brain cancer research nurse. So you save lives and you're 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 literally going into research to find anything that can be a cure for you know what's happening. For brain cancer. For brain cancer. So Almar, he is everything. So thank this man. We love him. He is my life source. And to all healthcare workers around the world battling the COVID-19. Good luck to us all. Yes, and thank you so much for all your support. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok. That's the thing now. On TikTok, it's called The Guy Tang on TikTok. The Guy Tang. The, because somebody stole my name. That's the struggle. The struggle's real, okay? But, or if you're French, Guy Tang. Guy Tang, okay. And also, uh, download my album, More To Me, on Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon Music, Google Play, wherever you consume music. It's called More To Me, check out my album, and I'm gonna play the trailer to my latest music video here. Hit it! You're gonna break my heart, go ahead, do it, do it, just don't leave me in the dark, go ahead, do it. Tell me it's all over